Hi, this is Charity and welcome to a new series, or rather a continuation of the Amanda Play Sims monthly series. So this is the Amanda Play Sims or APS Legacy Challenge. We're starting off with Forrest Daly. He is the same sim for everyone who is doing this challenge. He's the founder and he gets to start with his 20,000 simoleon. So I have built him this little mobile home in Oasis Springs and we have a theme of green because he likes green and it's industrial. So he is going to use Mixology as his creative skill. I've decided to do that because you always need a creative skill in order to do something like the business career or anything that is considered mental. Otherwise, you will burn out. So we're going to use mixology because that seems pretty appropriate that someone would be into drinking if they're in the business career. So yeah, another thing that we're going to do is we're going to practice research and debate. And the reason for that is I plan on actually trying to go to university because the only way that Forrest can make money is to go to his business career. And that is going to be unfortunate. So what we're doing here is we're just getting our research and debate up to level eight. And by doing that, we can get into hopefully one of the more advanced degrees, and then we can get more money through our career. So I'm going to do the career at the same time. And he's already registered in it, but he has work in two days. So we have a little while to try and get our research and debate up. Oh, the flea market is in town. Okay, so unfortunately, one of the rules for this challenge is anytime there is a fair or festival notification, we have to go for at least an hour. So I don't think there's a t-shirt for the flea market. There's just a bunch of stuff that they're selling. And I'm not sure if anything will be interesting to us. They generally have better prices at the flea market though than they do in build buy mode. Nah, I'm not really seeing anything that will actually fit. I like this sofa, but oh, it's only 169 simoleons. Wow, that is cheap. Uh, but we don't have anywhere that we could put it. It won't fit. Maybe we can buy a better desk chair, but nah, I'm thinking that we have to save our money because actually... We only have 406 simoleons and we need to have enough money to afford the entrance or the application fee for university. So I don't think that we're actually going to buy anything. Maybe we'll introduce ourselves to Mortimer Goth and try to make a friend. Oh, the festival of youth has started now. Okay, we have to go to that one after this one. That's so annoying that they're overlapping. And we'll introduce ourselves to Christopher since he butted in in our conversation anyway. All right, and now to the Festival of Youth. Don't know if there's a t-shirt at this one either. Probably just kid stuff. Well, maybe we can take a selfie with Yamachan. That is annoying. It doesn't actually let me take a selfie. It just... Uh, I hate that. All right, let's try to take a selfie and see if we can get him in the picture. Oh, that is almost perfect. I tried to do this with a child once and it just wouldn't work because the, t the child was too short. I can only get one of his eyes in the picture <laughs> instead of two. Well, it might be more convincing. Okay, we can get half of one eye and maybe three quarters of the other. Okay, that'll do. Hopefully this turns out as a good picture. Oh, this one's even better. Look at that. I could get his whole face in there. I actually got selfies with Yamachan. Okay, I'm proud of myself. I can actually see the little void critters that the kids are finding on the ground. It's cute. Yeah, Megumi is a celebrity. I can't really introduce myself to her. All right, we were here. We're going now. Where did I earn 30 simoleons? It says I earned 30 simoleons. How? I kind of missed that. 
Okay, I plan on having Forrest do the investor branch in the business career because that one is more lucrative. And that means we need to go to Foxbury. And in order to get into the distinguished degrees, you start with a 5 out of 20 chance. And we actually get half of that because I think we have no high school diploma. Yeah, that kind of sucks because if we have level 4, research and debate, then that would make it a 100% chance that we get the, the distinguished. So maybe if we had also like a level 2 charisma, that might also work. So we've already got research and debate level 4. And then our charisma is pretty close. So I think it'll be easier to raise charisma to level 2 than it would be to get research and debate to level 8. Eight, which is what we would have to do in order to, or sorry, level seven. So we'd have to get research and debate to level seven in order to get another chance. Okay, we got level two of charisma. Why don't we go ahead and get level two of logic? Because logic is also used in this degree. So charisma, logic, and research and debate. That should pretty much guarantee us a advanced degree or distinguished degree and we've already reached level two of logic okay that was really easy and we're going to apply to scholarships although i don't know if we'll get any we might be able to get something for research and debate if they have a scholarship for that but i'm kind of thinking they don't yeah we really don't have any scholarships that we can get okay well we're gonna try anyway for some reason, Max Villreal is here, and he's trying to say hello, I guess. We should probably work on our research and debate more. Let's send him home after we fill out our reports. Oh, and of course, today is rebate day. Well, I built this entire house yesterday. That just stinks. I can't buy anything. I need the money. I can't spend 500 simoleons. <laughs> oh, that bites. Oh no, he dislikes fishing. Okay, well, we won't be fishing very much. Well, hopefully he can eat at work, and then maybe when we come home we can buy something, because he's actually going to work today. That's a good thing. No, Max, I don't think we're going to join Renegades. We, we should make our own club, though. I forgot about that. Club benefits are really good. So we need to make our own club so that we can control what activities they do. And we got promoted. And we now have at least 500 simoleons. Oh, the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Okay, we have to go there. Now, career rewards. I think we are allowed to sell them. But... 20 simoleons? Really? That's not very much. We might as well keep that. <laughs> Company property, not for home use. Do not remove. Okay, that's too funny. I'm keeping that. Now we have to buy something worth 500 simoleons in order to satisfy the holiday. But the only thing is, uh, we only have 597 simoleons. That is really low. Let's get the mail. Maybe our universe, and we also owe 126 simoleons for bills. So let's get the mail. And we got our university thing. Okay, we have bills. Okay, we did get into the distinguished degree for economics. So that's what we need. But we didn't get any scholarship letters. I think it's because I used the cheat to skip the wait time. Because normally you have to wait three days. So since I didn't get my scholarship letters. Let me check my applications. I don't think I can apply for any more. Yes, human hijinks. I will go Mortimer. But not right now. Just a minute. I need to check my scholarship applications. Okay, we did get Education for All and the Oasis Springs Residence. So at least that's 250 simoleons. And we're going to enroll in Foxbury. And we're going to take Economics. And we're going to take four classes. It's going to be hard, but I think that it will actually work out.
because we'll get paid more once we get the degree, even if I think going through the career is technically quicker. You know, maybe we should stay on campus because they have everything we need at campus and we could sell all this stuff. And I guess we'll stay at home though, because actually, yeah, we need to stay at home because after one week of playing forest, we need to adopt a child and we can't have an adopted child in a dorm. Oh, it's only 10 simoleons. Oh, that's awesome. Because we got all that scholarship. Okay, we're going to, I guess we'll just go ahead and pay the 10 simoleons. All right, and we need to go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival, but I also need to buy something for 500 simoleons, and we need to buy the festival t-shirt. Oh, okay, now, a responsible person would say, I'm not going to buy anything. I really want to pay my bills, but Forrest is materialistic. So he is going to say, I am going to buy something, even though I shouldn't. And I have to find something for exactly 500 simoleons to buy. Uh, I don't really need anything functional, because I already bought everything that's functional, except for maybe a vacuum. And none of these are in my price range. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I don't think he would do that anyway. Let's get a piece of art. Do we have a piece of art that's exactly 500 simoleons? Yes, the leaf pile prints is exactly 500 simoleons. And oh, we found one that actually looks really good in our place. Um, Let's put it right here next to our bed. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. But that makes him so happy. We're going to admire the new possession and then go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Hopefully that gives you some fun. It should. Um, No, it doesn't give him any fun. Okay. Well, lesson learned. Oh, we can't take Mortimer. He invited us. All right. Maybe we can invite Mortimer to hang out. He's probably going to say, I'm busy. He might have work or something like that. Are we going to be a prankster or a jokester? Are we allowed to make money that way? That is one thing I want to know. Are we allowed to make money at the festivals that we are re required to attend? Hmm. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that he is allowed to make this money because he is here at this festival. And we have like 87 civilians and he's trying to order food. Okay. He did not eat at work or if he did, he didn't get very much. We need to order a festival t-shirt before he orders food. Because, oh, it's only 25 simoleons. Okay. We can also get something to eat. All right. So Mortimer is here, but he's all the way over there. Why are you? No, that's not Mortimer. <laughs> that is definitely not Mortimer. All right. Where are you? Okay, there you are. All right, we added you to a group and now we're going to drink some tea. I'm gonna say he's mischievous and we're both going to join the pranksters and we're going to grab some chips because I don't want him spending my money on food. Actually, I probably should have joined the jokesters. Oh well. He doesn't have any fun. I don't think mischief gets you fun unless you already like mischief. All right, I also have to keep track of his schedule. So he has class in 13 hours. Yeah, he has class tomorrow and he probably also has work tomorrow. So we have to figure out how to balance that. What we can do is we can actually take vacation. Maybe we can also grab somebody else's food. Well, I don't think he needs to. He's not really that hungry. We need to keep up with the jokesters, though, because it seems like if you don't do any interactions, you're actually going to lose. And now I've earned 296 simoleons. Oh, yeah, I did go to work. Okay. That makes sense now. But I don't know where the first 30 came from. Mean? Boris is not being mean. He's being mischievous. 
Forrest has felt the sweet, tangy thrill of being mean. Should he let it become part of his personality? Well, I like saying yes to everything, but this seems to be a little bit of a, um, yeah, I don't like this really, but we're going to go ahead and say yes. He, Forrest is mean, I guess. Maybe it does make a little bit of sense because he actually is going to be an investor. And to be honest, those people have to be mean sometimes. Okay, is the festival over? Surely the pranksters have won now. I think it's over at 11 p.m. This is a really long festival. And unfortunately, Forrest has work in the morning and he has class. This is not going to go well. Okay, we got a voodoo doll, fireworks, and 500 simoleons. Yeah. All right, now we can pay our bills. <laughs> I know that's probably not allowed, but I'm going to do it anyway. I really don't care. Okay, class is in nine hours. So I think what we'll do is, oh, since we are a prankster, we can try to call in fake sick and then we'll have more vacation days. Okay, so basically what that does is it allows you to take a vacation day without using one of your vacation days. And if you fail calling in sick, you can just call back and say you're taking a vacation day. So you can only do the sick days once in a while, but I think this way we'll be able to take a vacation day every day of the week except for Friday. But it is winter. So we also have Wednesday, which is Winterfest. So we can take this entire week off and not have to worry about it conflicting with our school schedule. We'll still get paid. We won't get promoted, though. That's the only downside is that you can't get promoted, but you can still earn the money. So we're going to go ahead and pay our bills. And I don't think it would be right to sell any of the fireworks or the voodoo doll. So I won't actually do that. Why does it say that none of our classes are in so many hours? Does calling in sick actually get us out of our classes too? Um, weird. Okay, well, the first thing we have is modeling currency and then working on my market moves. So we need to do that homework before we go to sleep. Oh crap, I did the homework for the wrong classes. I was thinking it was Monday. No, today is Tuesday. I did not do any of my homework for those classes. Oh, well, that sucks. And plus, he's really tired. He needs to get up at 8 a.m. Oh, well. Okay, it's just as I thought. Because he called in sick, it's not going to automatically send him to class. I have to manually send him to class. But at least he can still go. Okay, the next one is macroeconomics at 1.30. Okay, we don't have any more classes today because we got home and it's 2.55. All right, so we can go to work even though we've called in sick. We can still go to work and get a little bit of performance. I think I'm going to do that. I'm not sure it's going to mess up my pay though. It probably will mess up my pay. I should get paid because I took a sick day, but yeah, 54 simoleons. I did get some performance though, I think. Well, tomorrow is Winterfest. So Winterfest, we don't have to go to work. Forrest is extremely tired though. What I might do is start a gathering, but we need to figure out what we're going to do for the gathering. Okay, we're going to be friendly and funny with the business people group. And then we're going to be mischievous to everyone and drink coffee and drink bar drinks. I think that makes sense for a business club. And as you can see, we have Ava and Claire. And both of those people are in the business career. And they're also from our other part of the Let's Play for the monthly series. So we're just going to start a gathering so we can hopefully get enough points to buy the networked one and also to buy the uh, rally the troops. Rally the troops is more important. Oh, I can convince these people to do my homework. I can also convince them to cook. 
I wonder if convincing them to cook will work when I don't have any ingredients. No, she doesn't want to do it anyway. She doesn't know me very well, though, so that's fair. I'm going to work on my project while these people are here because they're earning points for me anyway. Oh, come on. Don't sit right in front of the coffee maker. Why did they sit on the ground? There's two seats right here. Is it because there's coffee cups there? Oh, no. He got shocked. Well, at least he finished cleaning the coffee maker. Okay, we got a gnome from Claire. Claire actually got us a Christmas present. And how cute is this? We're going to put it right outside our door. Um, We got a forbidden fruit of the plant sim from this dust bunny. Do we want to be a plant sim? Not sure that would be such a good idea. It would get rid of our hunger need, but it, it might be more trouble than it's worth. We're just going to put that in the refrigerator. Or maybe we should plant it. I honestly don't see any benefit in being a plant sim. One way to get decorations is to bribe the dust bunnies. Because we can't sell what the bus dust bunnies give us, but we can get some pretty good decorations out of it. No, don't mop, because unfortunately that will make the dust bunny disappear. Okay, what are we going to get from the pile of presents? An easel. Okay. I suppose that's a legitimate gift. We'll put it outside. The easel is nice because we can use it to work on creative skills. Now we need the attic stack decoration box. All right, finally we can buy Rally the Troops. Hurry up, we have to go to class. We need to rally the troops at least once. And there we go. No more needs. And once we go to class, our club will probably leave us. No, it looks like they're not. This is totally the way to cheat on everything, is basically have a club. And once you get rally the troops, you never have to sleep and you never have to eat. You still have to bathe, though. Yeah, see, I get 176 on my day off if I stay home. But if you go in, you only get paid for the time that you actually work, which is annoying. Okay, Forrest, you, you're done filling out those reports. It says 75% done. Great. I might have to move that nameplate because it's either the nameplate or the coffee cup. But something was preventing him from doing work right away. It's like he can't sit there and do work. Oh, 34 simoleons. We're not allowed to have that. Fixed. Okay. I'm not going to get money from the dust bunnies, but I, I'm trying to kind of get either one of those decorative plates or a frog or something really expensive, which will actually be bad because I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it in the house and it will make our bills really high. Okay, for some reason, we cannot convince anyone to do our homework. It's, it acts like it succeeds, and then the person actually never does any homework. So I guess we're stuck doing it ourselves. Okay, the only other perk I really want is the networked club. The rest of the perks are kind of, you know, they're okay. We don't really need it. Oh, no, we don't want this now. Money, money, give me now. But he can't get married yet because it's not time for him to get. Actually, I don't even think he's going to get married. Yeah, he doesn't actually get married. So we're just going to say no thanks. We really can't say under what conditions anyway because we're not allowed to take this money. No, thank you. Oh, there's Father Winter. Okay, maybe Father Winter will give us a TV or something so we won't have to actually buy one. I need a wall-mounted TV. A microwave. Yeah, I didn't really need that, but I guess we could use it. I need another counter first, actually. Okay, here's a tip for when you don't have enough room and you have too many appliances. You can buy these little half counters, or they're actually more like three-quarter counters, and you can put an appliance on each one, but they're not big enough to cook on. And then leave your big counter, the full-size one, for cooking. And you can actually put this halfway inside the fridge, and I think it still works, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, this is actually quite 
good because the coffee maker is skinny. So you can't really tell that part of the counter is sticking into the fridge. All right, well, done with our term presentation. We'll have to remember to give the presentation at some point, but we just need to finish some homework for basic economics theory and macroeconomics. Oh, yeah, that's right. Claire is actually infected. I kind of forgot about that. But yeah, that plays into the story. So if you haven't seen my other series, Claire Landry had both of her parents killed by the mother plant. And the mother plant decided that Claire was a threat. So she decided to split time and split reality and split Claire into eight different versions of herself. And they're all stuck in time in this manner. So none of them will age up. There's a baby, there's an infant, a toddler, a child, a teenager, an adult, a young adult, and an elder. And so all of those versions of Claire are not going to be able to solve the Stranger Veil mystery because, for one, they're all infected or too young. The ones that are too young will never age up either. I forgot to ask for a day off. Today, I need to ask for a day off. Well, he's probably going to get poor work performance today. Because he starts work at 9 a.m. And I don't get back from class until 9.25. Um, why is he burning to death? It's cool. And he's inside. He's not burning to death. Okay, this must be a bug. If he dies, I'm cheating him back alive. Because this is a bug. Why is he overheating? It is sunny and cool. It is not hot. Oh well. Class is in four hours. We're going to give the final presentation. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, he likes handiness. Good, because you're going to be fixing a lot of things. And it's football team sports day, but we're not going to that because we have no teenagers in the house. I'm only going to go to the high school years one if there's a teenager and the teenager is going to go. Probably not the adult. We're going to also try to become a caffeine addict. Why are you reading a book? Don't, I'm going to have to sell all of these books so he won't try to read them. That's super annoying because they're children's books. Why are you trying to read a children's book? And it interrupts when he's drinking coffee. For some reason, he'll drink a coffee and then go read a book and then stop drinking the coffee. Well, we have some extra time. We'll work on our homework, actually our term paper. So that's the only thing we have left to do for university. It's Friday and we could do this on the weekend, but that's okay. I think we're going to also call over the club. Hey, get out of my chair. Well, apparently Justin aged up and so did Jade. All right, we'll submit our term paper and then we just have to worry about homework. Okay, now we have the networked club. Now we only need to invite them over when we want some sleep or some hunger need filled. Oh, Ava's asking if she should try to get a promotion. Yeah, you should totally go for it. Um, but you're in the same career as me. So hopefully you don't take this as a, an opportunity to be my workplace rival. Okay, it's the cheerleading team sports day. Same with that. We're not going. It is the Festival of Light, though. We have to go to that. There's also soccer games, and it's 6 p.m., and it's now. Should we have to go to that? And Claire is calling us. Well, we have to go to the Festival of Light, too. Okay, I'm going to say if there's conflicting events, especially if we only have one person in our household, that we only have to pick one event to go to. I'm not going to go to all of the events if they're at the same time, especially the soccer game that you have to pay for. And then I can't even sit and watch it all because I have to go to the Festival of Light too. So we want to chat with Claire and we'll discuss work and what we were supposed to do. Oh, she hates children. What should we do at this place? We needed to do something and I think it was a karaoke thing or talent night. She said, let's go embarrass ourselves. And I can't remember what it was. I'll have to go back and look at it later. Okay, we came here with Claire, but we're going to go to the Festival of Light. Hopefully we can bring her with us. Oh, it said the talent showcase is upon us. Prepare to be entertained by some local talent. Sign up at the bar to participate. 
I didn't even see anybody at the bar, not even a bartender. So I think that event was kind of hosed. What are we doing at the Festival of Light? Okay. We can purchase baubles. Oh, we can purchase a festival kimono. Oh, that's 300 simoleons. That's a lot of money. And we'll get one semi capsule. We are going to be so broke. I want to wear my festival kimono. But what I found is really super annoying is that when you wear it, it replaces your regular clothes. Okay, here we are at School Spirit Day. I don't really know that I want to join any of the organizations though. The only one that I might want to join is the Secret Order of Enchantment, but I think it's going to be too much to have to keep up with the job and school and everything else. Oh, he's going to play ping pong. Okay, sure. Have fun, Forrest. Maybe we should buy one of the t-shirts. I think they have t-shirts here. Yeah, they have a hat, a sweatshirt, and sweatpants. Right after he finishes his game of ping pong. Okay. We lost. Oh, you can actually get info about your class grades from the kiosk? Yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> it doesn't really tell you your grade. It just tells you to email the professors. Well, Jade is here. It's also the Finchwick Fair, so we have to go there as well. Why is everyone so hot over here? And she gave me a little My Sim statue. Well, that's interesting. What are you doing, Forrest? Why is that burner on? <laughs> He's making me nervous. The burner is on for some reason. Uh, our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Should I move in with you? Um, We're not ready for the friend to move in. And I don't want it to be Jade. I'm going to say I don't think it's a good idea and she's going to get a bad sentiment with us, but that's okay. That's how it goes. And why is this burner on? That kind of makes me worried. It's like that you went out and you forgot you left the stove on or something. <laughs> that would be hilarious if you could actually do that, but I'm pretty sure it's just a visual glitch. But for some reason, everyone seems to be really hot in here, even though it says cool. So maybe I should buy a window AC or something at some point. But for right now, we're going to go to the bar. We're going to have fun with our New Year's Eve celebration. Now, I know he's going to get some drinks, but we're going to try and avoid it as much as possible. Oh, the romance festival. Come on. I want to hang out at the bar. Well, we're going to the romance festival. I should really just check the calendar every day and make sure there's no festival interfering with my plans. Well, we came here with Claire because I wanted to kind of set them up later. So spoiler on that. But we're going to see how it goes with the romance festival. It's a little soon for the romance festival, but to be honest, that's just how it happened. Oh, and she's flirting with me right away. I did not do that. They immediately got some romance. So I'm just not going to do anything. You guys can do what you want. Now it's going to be awkward because this lady is butting in. Grace. Well, maybe we'll go buy the t-shirt now because I don't want to be in an awkward conversation. Oh, look, it's the living statue. You can actually get his outfit if you're patient enough and you interact enough with them. Oh, it's mean to tip them only one simoleon. There you go, one simoleon, and we unlocked the outfit. I think it makes you tip like five or ten simoleons if you're not mean. So that actually saved us some money. And he still kind of flirts with Claire every now and then. It's a suggestive conversation. And all we did is drink the tea together. I did not have him do anything else. No, no, don't flirt with anyone else. I forbid you to flirt with anyone else, Forrest. <laughs> now, I know we're on a timeline here, but if anything happens between Claire and Forrest right now, it's going to be all on them. I may deviate from the timeline because what we're supposed to do is first we're supposed to play him for a week. And then he's supposed to adopt a child. 
and then look for someone to have a baby with. But since Claire is being so forward, <laughs> and this is just working out, we may just go with it early. And Claire is also telling Forrest about what happened to her family. Basically, she's living in a house with eight different versions of herself. And they're all trapped in time. So I think what she's going to try and eventually convince Forrest to do is to adopt the baby. So we'll have baby Claire Landry adopted by Forrest. And then later on, Claire and Forrest become romantically attracted to each other and have a little accident and maybe get Claire pregnant on accident. And Claire hates children. So she's not interested in being with children. But the only way that she can escape the house is to go live with someone else. And then she'll be able to enter the normal timeline and she'll be able to age and progress in her life. And the same with the baby. And that's why Forrest adopts the baby. So he's only going to help out those two Sims for now. And then we may later on have different parts of the legacy rescue different Sims from this house. I also have to be careful because Forrest is mean. Oh, and it looks like someone might be dying right there. Nope, he's fine now. All right, let's leave this place. I don't like the festival anymore. Okay, so we went back to the original bar. And this time, we're going to have the little gathering for New Year's Eve with the club mates. Well, it's the end of the week and we're doing our shishubis. So this is the new series for Forrest, and let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, how interested are you in in this legacy? And I'll link the rules below, but it's really pretty simple. And I didn't go over them in my setup. But anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.